Hey guys, it's Carenza. So here, here's the, here's the scoop. Today is Sunday, and I don't have any kids, as you see. I'm by myself in the car. I am driving, so we're gonna talk, some, take some serious notes on this. On Thursday, this big, huge thing happened, and I was one of the crazy people in the world. On Thursday, I decided that it was okay to take my good thoughts and convince Doug of this, that we'll surprise Michelle with an awesome idea, an awesome like treat. And if you can't figure it out already or don't know me already, it was the Build-A-Bear Pay Your Age. That was the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. I do Black Friday shopping. I do, you know, crazy coupons. I'll wait in line for a cool item if I have to. I've never even waited in line for the, the newest iPad or the iPhone. I don't normally do this stuff, but Black Friday is about the craziest I get. Well, I was one of those crazy people. And I've got friends on Facebook. Oh, I found somebody in line up ahead. Well, I wasn't that lucky. I got up at 7. We got at the house about 7.30. And we got there about 8 something. 8.05, I think, is we got in line. And I was in line for a while. When I say a while, I mean we were in line for like 9 hours. From the time I left my car until I got back in my car, it was eight. It was almost 9 and a half hours. Who is that crazy to wait in line for nine and a half hours? People who want to pay your age for your kids. Michelle's five and they have some really cool Build-A-Bears. So as me and Doug are in line, we're going, we're not going to get through this line in time. Doug has to go back to work. We're trying to figure out how he can get him home so we can go to work and how I can stay there with Michelle. We have one car there and it was in Roseville, so it's not that close to us. My phone starts to die and I'm sitting here going, how do I do this? How do I justify this? Well, as we're standing in line, my friend Sarah walks by and I go, oh my God, Sarah, hug Sarah. She's like, hi. She lives out in Allerhurst, which is past Marysville, which is another freaking like two and a half, three hours away two and a half hours away I think is what we calculated two and a half hours from Roseville okay not a big deal she's going the opposite direction she's like maybe you can have Rob come get you and we're like ah, that's not gonna work he's not leaving work for her him as he's you know going through his phone book calling people normal people we would normally call and say hey can you do this for us yeah well one of my really good friends who I've known for years, I mean, when I say for years, I mean high school, walks by me and I get him in the shoulder, pinch him in the shoulder and gets attention. He's going live on Facebook. And I hug him. We talk about it for a second. He's like, you know, as he's recording and going back live, I'm watching him. He's going back. And to find out, he told his wife, hey, Krenza's really far in line. Let's go cut with Krenza. Tommy didn't want to be there, and Cassie and the three kids were like, yeah, we'll stay. So Tommy took my husband home, took Doug home. Me, Sarah and her two kids, Michelle, my daughter, and Cassie and Tommy's three kids. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We stood, they all, they weren't there as long as I was, and there's a cutoff. They were giving out vouchers even while I was in line because I was in that. They were hoping we would, we would get out of line. They were hoping that we would get out of line with the hopes that we'll come back for a coupon. With our coupon. The coupon didn't justify me going, which I'll probably go again between now and August 4th before the coupon expires and get Michelle the cat that she wanted. The so Lala Lucy, my daughter, ended up picking. I kind of convinced her to get one of the, the rare ones, like just not just a bear but get a cool one she got a la la lucy not a big deal but in high 
hindsight, it kind of worked out. <clears throat> we were in line for a really long time, and we were a big group of us. So we all hung out together. We took, you know, I took the kids to the bathroom. Tommy had the kids. Tommy came back with food, and we all had shared, and we kind of were like one big family. That's kind of how it happened. But I get in there, and Michelle wants the cheapest thing in there, and I'm like, baby, get the Lala, please. Or get the my pony, or get this, or this, or this. And she's like, no, she wants the cheapest stuff toy in there. And I tell her, Mama's got the coupon to get that one, get that one just the same price as five, being five. Okay, we'll come back. So, of course, I'm going to have to go back and get this stupid animal, get the, get the animal for her one day when I have time and cash. Five bucks to go out, not a big deal. She's understanding, and I let her pick any outfit she wanted, and she wanted a sound, so I let her get a sound, and I ended up being like $37 later, plus food later, so I think it was, a, it was like a $40 trip to the mall, but $40, $50 trip to the mall, which was worth it. I got her food, she stick, you know, she sat there and did whatever she had to do. Um... But she picked a Star Wars shirt, shorts, and a knee, a really bright pink tutu skirt thing for her Lala, which doesn't really fit the Lala because you're just, Lala's are weird shaped. Yeah. Well, we've got other Build-A-Bears at home. So we did the whole Build-A-Bear thing there. She informs me on our way home as she's holding this big La La Loopsie doll. And this doll is the size of a, like, I want to say this is the size of a newborn. Realistically, it's as big as a newborn. Which is really skinny. She has it dressed up in her doll clothes. Her American Girl doll clothes fit on it. Can she dress it? No. That is up to mom. These cars like playing completely and crazy. So I'm sitting here in the hopes that she loves it and that we'll get a bear and she'll be able to dress this cat, bear, whatever she, this glittery thing up. She's happy, content, and very indecisive at five. But there's no way I will ever see in the line. For nine hours to get a pay your age thing. Michelle is the exception to the rule in life. She is the exception to a lot of things. She asks for things and she shall receive. I'm not going to deny her the simple things in life. Um, this was a treat because she's been so good lately and put in with so much and she's never done Build-A-Bear. And she was so excited. I don't do the sounds for my kids normally in the Build-A-Bears. Or the scents or any of that. I just get an outfit and be done with it and let's get out. There's only one Build-A-Bear in our area. And it is in Roseville. It is a good 40 minute drive from where I live on a good day. I took the cheap route. Got her whatever she wanted. Let her get the sound. Talk, the thing talks to her. <sighs> But I won't ever stand in line again. If I do stand in line for this eight, pay your age thing, I will make sure that I'm better prepared. I'm better organized. I'm having people who are willing to be with me. My, the idea of this is not bad. But the, even this, even as we are in line, they have a cutoff. This is as far as we're going. They weren't prepared for the hysteria. They weren't prepared for all these parents who are like, oh my god. My sister signed up for the memberships. So we've got the membership. We've had the membership. But at the same time, going through this has been an eye-opening experience. I don't think Build-A-Bear was expecting this. They were giving out coupons to everybody. It's a $15 coupon. When stuff in there can be anywhere, it's $15 off the build bear you choose. So if you get a $20 build bear you're getting a $5 bear. But if you decide to get like a $39.99, the most expensive thing in there, 
the coupon only works $15 off, not including the outfit. The next time I go in, I'm going to get Michelle a Build-A-Bear, and I'm probably going to do it. What I'm going to do is probably build it and get it for her and do it for Christmas. So how we go out and get her one before the coupon expires, go to the one that she wants, put it in the pajamas that she wants, and hide the damn thing in the house. I've already started my Christmas shopping. Realistically, I've got my sister, my sister, my sister's birthday is in November. So November, and December are the two crazy months I have to make sure, you know, I've got two big birthdays in November and I've got the birthday before Christmas. And then I have these birthdays after Christmas. My daughter is turning eight this year. And I'm probably going to get her a Build-A-Bear at some point and give it to her for Christmas also. And get her older sister one. And that's realistic. I've started Christmas shopping because of all the stuff I have to get. And I'm not doing the whole credit card thing for Christmas. I'm trying to pay my credit card debt off. And I am hoping by Christmas I have a really good paying job. And I have a very happy husband, and me and him got in some silly argument today, and I ended up going to Costco by myself, which I don't like going to Costco on Sunday by myself, just to make this really known, I did that today, that's what I'm coming back from, and you will see the haul for that, but what I purchased today is going to be the rest of the month. If he goes back to Costco, it's going to be for one item, maybe two, and that's it. But I'm going home because it's going to be 100 degrees and I don't want to be out this weather. So, that was my side note. On to the real thing. I was on the news three times. Backshot, buttshot, whatever you want to call it. I was on there and there's a screenshot of me with Tommy and his kids and all this hysteria of like where I'm at. There's plenty of side shots. And the news was there. I mean, it was all over the news. Closing down stores, closing the lines. When we were in line, the store, the thing went around the mall. And if you're from California and you know what the gallery looks like because it's oh, they always have it on the news, you know, going from where Build a Bear is in that place all the way around to Nordstrom's is a very long line. They had they had to cut it off. And I was nice enough to let my friend Sarah, who I've known since she was ten. And, um, and with her two kids, because she wouldn't have made it. And then, again, with my friend Tommy, who I've known since high school, longer than I've known Sarah, or about the same length I've known Sarah, in line with his kids, I felt that it was right to do it. We were a big group, and nobody cared that they were cutting in front of me. It wasn't worth fighting over. So... The moral is, I'm probably never going to do this Build-A-Bear, pay your age thing again. Like I said, Black Friday's Black Friday, and I like shopping on Black Friday. So, yeah, I also like getting the deals. I like looking at the sales. So, as I tell you guys, Build-A-Bear was crazy, and they were, I mean, they just weren't staffed for it, and that's the problem. They weren't staffed, but they got us in and out as fast as possible, and Everybody in my group got what they wanted. They got the T-Rex, got the the Lossoraptor, whatever thing for um, one of the boys. The other one got a Chewy. The other guy, the other oldest boy, got um, the Beast. Michelle got a Lala, and Sarah's two kids got these. Got one of them got Pikachu, and one of them got a bear dressed like Elsa. We're all happy with it. As parents, are probably never going to do this again. But in hindsight, it was fun. So, hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you guys enjoy my little rant about Build a Bear and look forward to my next couple videos because I've got about two of them that I need to get done. And I've got a cook with me coming up on something. I haven't decided what I'm going to cook yet, but I'm probably going to do cookies because that's what sounds good. <laughs>